If there's one truth in life, it's that whenever the bold and the beautiful Sheila gets involved, things never go according to plan. Her family knows this, her enemies know this, and right now, above all else, Deacon definitely knows this. Life was going along just fine-ish until Sheila showed up on his doorstep. He had a great, well, he had a job. He was pining for married Brooke and sparks were starting to shine between him and single Taylor. Until they weren't. Deacon and Hope were getting along great, at least, so there's something. But then Sheila popped up in a wig and mask and bullied her way into his life and his apartment. That's when things, Seen Cannon insisted on a recent Bold Live episode, began taking a very unexpected turn. I think in the beginning, he defended his character. Deacon was trying to contain this. He wasn't trying to lie to anybody or do anything that was going to get him in trouble again. God knows what she was capable of. She made it clear she wasn't going anywhere in Deacon. Well, he hadn't slept with anyone, that Cannon knows of at least, since getting out of prison. So why not make the best of a bad situation? Things with Brooke went nowhere. That brief teasing with Taylor seems to have gone nowhere, both thanks to Ridge, of course. Deacon's barely scraping by with his little apartment and job, so Sheila was, to be frank, exciting. Yeah, it's dangerous, and he shouldn't be doing it. Cannon shrugged. But you know, Sheila's a lot of things. Boring ain't one of them. They probably are having a lot of fun together, and he figures, look, I can't get her out of here, so I might as well enjoy the benefits. But it's never that simple. Even Deacon has a hard time sleeping with someone without feelings starting to creep in. And that could spell more trouble than anything else Sheila does. I didn't think that there was going to be a romantic relationship, Cannon admitted. But then they were thrown together into a single, small living space, and things got dicey. Cannon and Kimberlyn Brown talked about their characters and their situation a bit and realized that, begrudgingly, inch by inch, these two people are going to start to have some kind of feelings for each other. It may be dysfunctional, and it may be born out of extraordinary external pressure, but it can't just be quippy and sex. There's a point where Sheila and Deacon kiss, he explained, and I played it that it was not just a sexual kiss. It's a heartfelt kiss and he catches himself starting to have a moment of feeling for her. The thought disturbs Deacon enough that he hightails it off to work, but like it or not, Deacon's left to struggle with a horrifying thought. Oh my God, am I actually finding myself having feelings for this lunatic? And if the answer is yes, getting rid of Sheila will be even harder than he ever thought possible.